Hello everyone, this is Dr. Rupinder Syal and welcome again to Spartan Tutorials. So today we are going to talk about one of the most important chromatography techniques and that is gel filtration chromatography which is which has multiple names size exclusion chromatography, gel permeation chromatography and it is based on the physical properties of different proteins. So in academia as well as industry this is very widely used technique to separate proteins based on just the physical properties and not on any chemical properties pH or net charge. So let's get started. Now as with any chromatography technique, we first start with tissue homogenate, which is basically the juice of tissues. Right? This is a rather crude way to say it, kind of tissue juice, but let's just keep to the accepted term which is tissue homogenate where we grind, break up the tissue, for example this could be bovine heart, for example a rat brain or human brain or whatever tissue we are working with, bacterial cells, fungal cells or viral particles could be anything and then what we do is we apply a bunch of different centrifugation steps in order to get to a mixture of different soluble proteins in the cytoplasm. This contains thousands of proteins and our task now is to isolate our one protein of interest from this whole population. Now the size exclusion chromatography is a pretty simple technology to understand. It is based on these beads which are made up of polymers, these are carbohydrate polymers and they have small pores in them. These are also called tunnels or pores and these are of specific sizes. Using chemical technologies we can make pores of certain sizes in these beads and what happens is the proteins based on their size they can either enter these beads or if they are too large they can stay out of the beads okay so that's the overall technology that's all the concept behind size exclusion chromatography and that's the name just the name says it all size exclusion exclusion means to keep out based on size and this is also called gel filtration chromatography it's really a filtration a technique it's very very physical in nature not chemical at all now to explain it in a little bit more detail we have gel beads here so these gel beads are of certain diameter so they will only allow proteins or particles of a certain diameter to enter them and exclude everything else so what will happen is the fractions that we will collect they will be in decreasing molecular weight that's the order that they will be eluting out. So this kind of does not make usual sense but if you think about it what will happen is that very very small proteins they will enter the beads they will remain in the column for a long time and what will happen is that they will spend a lot of time in the column they will elute out much later as compared to very big proteins which will not interact with the beads at all and they will elute out very very fast. So this can be shown here using these blue beads which are technically representing large proteins and these red uh, particles which are representing small proteins. So that's all the technique for size exclusion chromatography very easy to use and one of the advantages of size exclusion chromatography is that it leads to very very high recovery of activity. So proteins are seldom denatured, very rarely denatured. Most of the time we recover almost completely active proteins as much as possible or because proteins as we should always remember they are pretty fragile. So any type of ion exchange chromatography or other types of chromatography they usually have some pH ranges where the protein loses its activity so there we expect some loss but here because it is purely a filtration step it is purely physical in nature we uh, we get a lot of recovery of active proteins. So that's our discussion of size exclusion chromatography. We will discuss another type of chromatography in the next lecture that is the affinity chromatography one of the most widely used techniques of chromatography in the labs around the world. 
So till then, take care and bye bye.